Something I and many other Christian children were actually honestly told growing up is that the Bible is the people's moral compass. And without the Bible, there would be nothing to tell us that it is wrong to kill people. Because we are sheep, and we cannot think for ourselves. And that's not me exaggerating, that is what we were actually told. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a series called Correcting Christians, where we, well, correct Christians, because accountability and truth are important. So this non-Christian is absolutely right in stating that there are Christians who make this claim. I want to give three reasons why this view is insanely problematic. The first one is that that just sounds like cult language. Because cults are high control, and if they can convince you that you need them in order to think, then you have a problem. You have to read our text, otherwise you would not know basic things. It sounds like your thinking is being controlled. Now this is different from religious and spiritual communities in general who want to say that we have some semblance of the truth, that we want to teach you the truth, and that this is how you can or should think about these things. This is, you cannot think without this. The second issue is that this betrays the Christian tradition, um, going back to Thomas Aquinas, John Calvin, even further back, probably to the Apostle Paul, which I'll talk about in a minute. We have some sort of natural law theory, which is the idea that basic moral principles uh, are applicable and can be found by anyone. There is special revelation, which can be found in scripture, and general revelation, which is available to all people. The church tradition has often said that there is the book of scripture and the book of nature. Basic moral principles have often been thought of as being in the general revelation or the book of nature category. It is that knowledge which is available to all people. It's the same thing with uh, nature and certain things that you could ascertain about God through nature. The third problem is that this is just false. There are people before the canonization of the Bible, people after the canonization of the Bible who had no exposure to faith, who believed that lying was wrong and unaliving the innocent is wrong. These are basic moral principles that can be figured out whether you have the text or not. So it's just wrong on its face. I know I said at the beginning of this that there were three things, but uh, this claim is the gift that keeps on giving. So let's hit a fourth and final claim, which is just that this is unbiblical. Again, going to the Apostle Paul, as I mentioned earlier in Romans chapter two, he seems to affirm that Gentiles can be a law unto themselves and that they have the law written on their hearts. The Gentiles who do not know God can discern right from wrong. Different uns save characters in the Bible demonstrate their ability to do right and wrong, and to know right and wrong. And there are also ancient Near Eastern, for example, writings where if you read them, you would say as a Christian, well, to an extent, I agree with some of the moral claims or principles in these texts, which again suggests that people can know basic moral facts. It's sad that the initial creator left the faith and now has to go to therapy because of what her faith background did to her. However, if these are the kinds of claims that Christians are making in conservative Christian circles, then I totally understand. And this is the kind of thing that definitely needs to be deconstructed and reconstructed or reformed. I just hope this and other nonsensical things Christians claim can stop so that we could stop hurting people and be able to be more truthful and loving and so on. That said, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below and make sure you follow me for more content like this.